Hello, one and all. Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. How you be? Ooh. They'll get it. They'll get it. They'll get it. Elliot and I were joined by Steve Zaragoza in a recent table talk that was just posted on SourceFed Nerd, which you can check out right here with Boom. annotation magic. And in that video, we discussed a question that asked us, where are all the damn bees going? Steve and I made jokey remarks while Joe tried to squeeze in a basic understanding of the situation, but the key points were that bees are dying off around the world, but no one really knows why, and it's a bigger deal than you would imagine. And now we get to come full circle and talk about it today because a new study from scientists might just point out some of the reasons for the mysterious and costly die off. Okay. Now, real quick, Joe says costly because in the U.S. alone, bees pollinate $30 billion worth of crops. They're responsible for a bulk of fruit and vegetable pollination. And if they disappeared, crop yields would dramatically drop. Some estimates say up to one third of food production would just fall off the face of the earth. And also honey, there would be no honey and honey's good. And it's in all types of stuff. See, look guys, we're learning kind of. Yeah, it almost makes me feel bad for making fun of the question during table talk. So let's continue learning for a moment. When we are talking about a die off, we're talking about colony collapse disorder. CCD, CCD. This is where the adult worker bees of the colony just freaking disappear or die off and don't come back to the hive, leaving just a queen and some of her little minions and immature subjects effectively killing off the hive like a bunch of lazy freaking Bees. Because of CCD, 10 million beehives worth around $2 billion have been wiped out over the past six years. And as stated before, we were all like, sucks! Why? And here's the new possible answer, a suspect all along. Pesticides and fungicides. Yeah, the researchers combed the hives of declining bees on the East Coast and pilfered some of their pollen. And they fed that pollen to healthy bees, and it basically had a negative effect on their tiny, adorable bee immune systems. And they became more susceptible to a parasite known as Nosema serenae. And there were all sorts of pesticides and fungicides on the pollen up to 21 different varieties, but scientists narrowed it down to eight chemicals that resulted in increased parasite infection. The likelihood of infection jumped up three times. The important point here is that previously fungicides were thought to be harmless to the bees, but now they are on the bee murderer shortlist. Dan, nope. Dennis Van Engelsdorp, study's lead author, <laughs> I think we should keep that, said there. <laughs> There's growing evidence that fungicides may be affecting the bees on their own, and I think what it highlights is a need to reassess how we label these agricultural chemicals. Now, fungicides are important to identify because there are less regulations on the fungi. So it seems the main suspected culprit is a deadly cocktail of mixed chemicals leading to the eventual infection of a crappy parasite. Lame! Now, the hope here is that as researchers get closer to pinpointing the exact cause of CCD, big money won't get in the way and we can save the bees. Because in reality, we're only one, like, really bad, really cold winter away from killing off a heavy majority of the population and sending our food production in a tailspin. And, uh, we don't need that. Yeah. I think we're so worried about the zombie apocalypse, we're not even paying attention. We're not even paying attention to the bees. History books will say from the species that comes and repopulates this planet from space, they'll be like, oh, we'll kill the humans. And they're gonna be like, you're never gonna believe it. Bees. They were too busy uh, worrying about zombies and watching the Kardashians. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so since we're all learning about bees, why don't you guys tell us some fun bee facts down in the comments down below. And while you're down there, please like this video. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel if you wanna be pelted with news all throughout the week, as well as get amazing, amazing weekend content. And you can click this annotation for our five daily stories. It's right down there. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Barrett. Thank you for watching us. It is appreciated. Be ending. <laughs> Couldn't help it.